Hello everybody, welcome to Sprinkle Money. My name's Andrew. This video today, I'm just gonna to try to very quickly cover uh, three things that I think the Bank of Queensland could try to do differently to try to get a little bit more market share of the uh, Australian uh, banking um, market, I guess. So it's a one take video, no cutting. I'm just gonna quickly rattle through it and uh, sorry about the ums and ahs and breaks and pauses and everything along the way. But anyway, so I hold a whole bunch of Bank of Queensland shares about yeah, I think about half of my portfolio, about a third of my portfolio is Bank of Queensland. I DCA'd into it quite hard and uh, now I have a big amount. So I kind of thought, well, what could I, what could I do to maybe, um, you know, I guess have a look at Bank of Queensland to, you know, justify um, why I'm holding this bank. And then in that, I have found a couple of things that I want to share with Bank of Queensland in particular. Um, but I'm sharing it with everybody else as well. So here we go. Let's quickly go through it. So number one, um, just three things. Just three things that I think Bank of Queensland could consider doing. So when you go on their website and you start to consider their products, there is nothing unique about Bank of Queensland. Nothing at all. Like absolutely nothing. <laughs> they have a competitive 5.5% savings account, a bonus saver account, which I guess is somewhat competitive. It is it's just quite competitive, but it doesn't really stand out as anything special. There's a whole bunch of other um, banks at the moment doing the same sort of thing. So I was thinking, well, what, what could a bank like this do to, I guess, maybe do something a little bit different? The interest rates on their mortgages are somewhat competitive, but not, nothing stands out. So here's one thing that I was thinking of. So I think we need to attract high quality people with their mortgages to the bank. And here's what I came up with. So um, there's no doubt that you have a couple of you know million just sitting around not doing a lot. So you could, at a pinch, uh, maybe try to, uh, in, I guess, um, incentivize some people who already have mortgages who have a low LVR. And what I mean by that is, is um, let's say someone has a, a property, because a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of people's properties at the moment, their homes have gone up in value, some have doubled, tripled, whatever. There's been a huge increase in house prices recently. So let's say someone has a house that's worth about $800,000, dollars and they have a mortgage that is around the $320,000, $300,000-ish. That means that their LVR, their loan to value ratio, is already currently sitting at under 40%. That, my friends, is a very um, low risk client that the Bank of Queensland could approach. And what they could do, and I'm not sure if this is legal or illegal or if you're allowed to do this or the regulations allow it, but offering a something like a 40% LVR loan where the loan rate is significantly less, like significantly, significantly. Like I'm saying maybe 4% as opposed to the 6% at the moment, about 6.2 we're sitting at, 6.1. So um, yeah, definitely offering something that's really... Um, low risk, great clients, you're introducing new people to the bank and you're kind of, I guess, offering something that's a little bit different, just something that will maybe attract a few people. Now, the benefits of that, you're gonna have um, some good quality clients. You're going to have people who have, uh, that they're very low risk. Um, you know, I know, I personally would definitely jump onto a product like that um, because at the moment, our LVR is low. I don't want to borrow against my LVR. I don't want to do anything like that at the moment. So I would happily jump onto a product that is a lower interest rate and it's good for the bank. Um, and I would definitely uh, consider the Bank of Queensland had they had a product like that. It doesn't even have to be 4%, just something super competitive that no one else is offering. And why not? Um, I don't think there's anything that you would lose uh, doing this. The benefits are the word of mouth would get out. Uh, you're attracting higher quality people who with established loans, um, with established uh, mortgages and properties, and it would definitely be worthwhile. Okay, that's enough about that. So definitely just considering some unique, interesting products for the customers, because there's nothing unique or interesting about the Bank of Queensland at the moment. It's wonderful that you're doing community work, but <laughs> it's, yeah, it's money. All right, number two, um, the name, Bank of Queensland. Now, I've had a quick look. You have lots of different branches across Queensland, and it's great, and that's one of the strengths of Bank of Queensland, that, that, that there's branches everywhere. Um, but you also have branches in New South Wales, 
and in Victoria, and I'm pretty sure it's in Adelaide as well. Uh, that's as far as I looked, but you have branches across Australia. You're no longer a little regional Queensland bank. Um, you've spread further and, uh, and, and I guess with both with insurance and with your banking products, I think a name change would be really, really good. I've come up with a couple of sort of suggestions, ideas. I'm sure you guys can come, come up with something better, but here we go. Instead of Bank of Queensland, you could call yourself the Spirit of Australia Bank. I don't know if any of these are taken. The Aussie Community Bank. I've got a, might have a problem with Australia. It might be Australian Community Bank. Local Community Bank. Or the Community Bank of Australia. These are just a couple of ideas I came up with. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you can do a lot better than that. But uh, yeah, Bank of Queensland implies to me a Queensland-centric small bank, regional bank, you know, supporting the farmers, supporting the regional um, infrastructure projects, that sort of stuff. It, is, it's, it, it doesn't ring to me like a serious, huge company and definitely does not compete with the big four. So uh, yeah, a name change would be lovely. I think would definitely boost your uh, your image. Last and finally, the, the, the last thing, that I kind of happened upon is I had a quick look at your online reviews and the Bank of Queensland, I guess, is not looking really good in terms of the reviews online. The amount of disgruntled people who've had issues and they're very, most of them are very petty little tiny issues that I think every bank has, but they are vocal and, they, and I suppose um, it's, it's something that's gonna happen. But Bank of Queensland, Definitely has its fair share of negative reviews, um, and uh, and I and I think some of it is definitely unwarranted. Some of it has been addressed already by the bank, with the purchase of the of Me Bank, with the um, OSCO being offered that sort of stuff. I, I think Bank of Queensland needs a little bit of a PR, um, I guess, boost, and so maybe having people go on and doing some reviews or uh, maybe um, going onto those. Um, onto those websites where people can do their, you know, um, product reviews and maybe asking people if you've had a positive experience with Bank of Queensland, please put it out there because <clears throat> a lot of people don't do that. They only sort of get out there and they put up their reviews when it's a negative experience that they've had and that's when they go to complain and not enough of the positive stuff comes out. And I just think maybe uh, if, uh, if uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I've read somewhere, I had to sort of dig deeply, but there are, the satisfaction for Bank of Queensland with their customers is not, it's pretty high, it's actually quite high, but that doesn't show in the reviews. It doesn't show in the first couple of review pages on Google search. So <clears throat> yeah, so some, some, some sort of active, I guess, addressing of these review websites may, might, may have a little, uh, um, I guess, positive impact on, um, on your bank. So anyway, I just <laughs> thought I'd get this out there. Thank you for bearing with me if you're still here at the end of this video. Um, I have lots of other ideas uh, in terms of those innovative products and things. I've, I've got, uh, yeah, I think my ADHD is really kicking in and I have a lot of um, <laughs> undiagnosed ADHD. But I have a lot of ideas um, of how a bank could be, you know, a little bit more, uh, I guess, uh, you know, stand, stand out of the crowd um, a little bit more and um, maybe attract some customers. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And uh, thank, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I look forward to maybe seeing you in another video. Thanks everybody, bye bye.